Hey everyone, so we are getting a lot of questions. Is it the end of the interview invites? Will I get more interviews? What can I do now? So in this video, we answer all these questions and give you some tips on your uh, next course of action. Before we get started, in case you have more questions, get in touch with us through our website, Facebook, or just by calling us. So starting about middle of November, we get these questions. Can I still expect interviews? November has been kind of a silent month. Uh, till when do they conduct the interviews? I'm on visa. When should I plan to leave the country? And what kind of guidance can I get on some of the next steps if I'm in December or January, we need to plan for the next year. So you'll see various options on social media, WhatsApp, Facebook groups for these questions. So what we did was we looked at the NRMP published data and self-reported data by our own USMLE Sarthi students and the Facebook group where applicants have reported their interviews. In terms of the trends that we see every year over the past five to six years, they are strikingly similar. So if you look at the NRMP data for all specialties, in September, about 18% of all the invites were sent out. October is generally a very prolific month with about 47% of the interviews invites being sent out. But this drops in November and December. So November is about 22% that you can see. And as you see here, December and January or later is going to account for only about 13% of the interview invites. And this is for all specialties. Now data for internal medicines, one of the specialties that we just picked is strikingly similar as you can see. So about 20% of the interview invites are in September. Uh, October, again, more prolific, about 50%. November dropping to about 17. And the rest of the season, which is December or later, is only 13%. So very similar to overall, all specialty kind of uh, invite rate uh, by, by month. Now, the data for when the interviews are actually conducted is very interesting. Now, this is uh, all specialties. And as you can see, only 1% of the interviews are conducted in September. Makes sense since the application starts September 15th. Interviews then pick up in October. About 12% of the interviews are conducted in October. November really ramps up with 31% of the interviews. But the peak is actually uh, December. So many of you may find it surprising to note that about 55% of the interviews are actually conducted in December or later. December accounting for 33%, January or later is 23%. So more than 55% or 56% are in December and January. And this is actually the interviews conducted. Again, uh, data for internal medicine is very similar when it comes to the actual interview being conducted. September less than 1% or about 1%, October 13%, November 33%, December 32%, and you know January or later is 21%. So January till about middle of Feb. So again, as you can see, more than 50% of the interviews in internal medicine are conducted in December or January or Dece December or later. So what are the insights? How can you use this information and help your chances for match? First, if you're planning to apply, then apply on time, apply early, as close to September 15th as possible. This goes without saying. Now, what if you've already applied? Well, there are fewer invites to go around for sure between 10 to 13 percent as you as you see many of these will be cancellation interviews now cancellations can happen due to weather related issues or due to the fact that many amgs or imgs with 15 plus interviews start cancelling in december we see this every year many of our usmle sarthi students with 15 plus interviews scramble to reschedule cancel these interviews and, and we help them so Many spots will open up. 
Now you may also be on wait list at many programs. You may have received emails in, in September or October that there are no spots and, and you are being put on the wait list. So anyway, if you are among those applicants who are looking for more interviews in December or later, you may find it useful to email, call the programs, demonstrate your interest because there are still 13% or so of the invites left to go out. However, if you do not have any interviews or have very few interviews by the end of November, you should be realistic. The major interview invite wave gets over by November and you should start considering your plans for next season as well. Now, whether it is more rotations, research or any other aspect that you can improve, it's a good idea to start thinking about it now. Then many other applicants will often ask us, I'm interviewing in January or December or later. Does it mean that I have less chances at that program? By now you should be aware and you should know this based on the data that that is not the case. Interviewing early or late doesn't have any impact on the program's rank or list. As you can see, more than 50% of the interviews are actually conducted in December or later. So if you get interviews in December or January, these are equally important. Focus on the interview prep and make it count. If you need help with the interview prep, you can always reach out to us and look up our plans to help you. Now pre-match programs work slightly differently than we just discussed in, in this video. And we have covered those in, in several other videos. That was all that we had for this session. Hopefully it answered your questions on the interview invite timeline and helps you plan ahead. Good luck and let us know how we can help you.